What's up everyone? Today I'm going to take a walk through Naples, Florida here on the west coast bordering the Gulf of Mexico. It's located in Collier County and I record this video on Sunday, January 8th, 2023. The time right now is about 3.30 p.m. Temperature right now is 74 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. So you may be wondering, Naples, isn't that a place in Italy? Does this city in Florida have anything to do with the Italian city of the same name? Well, it does. And that's because in the 1800s, magazines and newspapers advertised this area as similar to the sunny Italian peninsula. They promoted it as describing the bay as surpassing the bay in Naples, Italy. And that's where the name came from. This city is known for its white sandy beaches and numerous golf courses. It's called the golf capital of the world. It has the second most holes per capita out of all the communities and the most hotels in Florida in any, of any city. And this city is very appealing to the elderly and to retirees with the median age being 61 years. But here we are at the Naples Pier. Unfortunately, this city suffered a lot of damage during Hurricane Ian. And this pier was a victim of that. But as you see, as I continue through this video, much of the city has been recovered and rebuilt. But this over here is what I see left of the hurricane damage. The pier is not completely reopened. We can walk on a portion of it, but it's still recovering. I think they plan to restore this sometime. Here's the beach. At least they've rebuilt up to here. Let's uh, zoom in and see what the extent of this damage was from the hurricane. Restricted area, 24 hour surveillance. You can see there's a lot of loose wooden planks, but I think they're redoing them right now. And the end of that pier is completely destroyed. As you can see, the sand is quite white. Oftentimes the Gulf Coast beaches rank higher than the Atlantic coast. The waves are more shallow here and uh, the beaches are often more family friendly. Here's the other side. And from here, I'm going to walk you through the residential area of Naples before heading into the commercial district of Fifth Avenue South. Right now, there is an art fair going on. I hope I could still show you a bit of it before they close.
The views here are absolutely spectacular. Well, there's a historical plaque about the Naples Pier, built in 1888 as a freight and passenger dock. The Naples Pier stands as a community landmark. It was rebuilt after damage by hurricanes in 1910, 1926, and 1960. Well, we could add Hurricane Ian to that list, 2022. Oh, there's also a uh, sea turtle mosaic art piece here. Here's a Tennessee drunk. Get him on there. Oh, yeah? Tennessee. No, 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 no. Tennessee drunk. How you doing, man? Hey. hey. Tennessee drunks in Naples as well. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Happy New Year. You too, man. Bye. Do me a favor, save the tree. Speaking of that, the people from Tennessee there, I've noticed a lot of out-of-state license plates, even some from Canada and Ontario. During this time, a lot of people from the north, they come down to escape the cold temperatures. Here's an Indiana plate. This is the uh, beach parking lot here. Yeah. I don't really know how much it costs to park here. And we'll walk along Gulf Shore Boulevard towards Fifth Avenue through some residential areas. You can't get lost with a name like this because it's the street that's closest to the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf Shore Boulevard. And I do like how there is a street grid here. 12th Avenue will be 11th and then 10th. This city is really known for its high-priced homes as well. A lot of the homes we'll see are even being constructed, new construction. Birds are quite chatty up there.
This is Broad Avenue, popular spot to access the beach. There's an even more upscale area of Naples called Port Royal, which is to the south of me. There's some really mega mansions there, but I won't be able to cover them on foot today. This must be a pretty popular bike route. There's even a bike lane here. Some new construction. This home here is actually for sale. These homes to the left and right even have hedges and everything here is well kept. The landscaping in this city is unbelievable.
a lot of palm trees around here. Even in this uh, vacant lot. This is even available for sale. Imagine where you could build on this land. Actually, I'm not sure if it's for sale. This is uh, just some advertisements for architectural firm and home builders. This street uh, is close to the beach. Beach access is closed. Not sure it's closed off. Here's another new home. In just two blocks, we'll hit 5th Avenue South. That's where I'll turn and show you the commercial district. Although it doesn't begin until 3rd Street.
It's amazing to see all these gigantic homes being built from scratch. Here's Fifth Avenue South. Once I pass 3rd Street, I'll be in what's called Old Naples. And I hope we can see part of that art fair that's going on. This home is pretty unique. It's got a yellow texture to it. It's interesting to see the out-of-state plates here. I saw Ohio, New York. I think this is Quebec. Some person came all the way from Canada. Here's Illinois.
And here we are at the start of the commercial district of Naples. This is its historic main street. There's a lot of restaurants here, shops, retail, and they also have this art fair going on. Here's the Beachy restaurants from 1926. Just gives you an idea of what they have here in Naples. Live music being played in this Italian restaurant. And here you can find everything from fine art, jewelry, glass, contemporary art, paintings. I'm not sure how long this Naples art fair is going to be here for. But it's definitely worth checking out. You might find something you like. Some landscapes like this. Here's a French restaurant, which I really love the architecture of. This entire building is a work of art. The city hasn't gone around to take down their holiday decorations yet. That's why you see, you'll still see the lights on the trees.
Here's a home accessory store. The peach tree home. Lemonade stand, which is much needed right now. Thai sushi by Ku. Seems like a pretty popular place. Okay, so if I look up a Caribbean life, I'm no, if you want to see that, that's what I do. I got him. He's right here, baby. He's over here. This stall is displaying their stone fountains. It's very tranquil to look at and I'm sure they'll look nice in a good home with the right decor. Some jewelry. And this artist is focusing on photographic art. Looks like different cityscapes. Here's a seafood restaurant, La Pacheria. I really like the look of this restaurant here, all the individual archways. It's the Del Mar Italian restaurant, also the second floor. Kind of reminds me of a European style architecture. I'm sure the Italian food in Naples is just, if not on the same level as Naples and Italy. It's got quite a reputation to hold up with a name like that. If you'd like to purchase a yacht, you can do so at this store, the Marine Max. But there's a lot of artwork for sale and on display here in this art fair. These people are very good at what they do in their crafts. I'm sure you'll find something that will fit in with any decor. Here's a cupcake store, the Grace and Shelley's Cupcakes. A 
little cake, big smile. Let's take a look at this billboard and see what kind of cupcakes they have. They're serving the Royal Scoop. Looks like a good variety. Oh, cupcakes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the ice Best cream ice cream in town. Y'all right. Thank you. <laughs> Best ice cream in town. Testimonial from a local. Normally the street is open to cars, but since they have the art festival today, it's closed off. Vegetables established in 2010. Their bowls actually made out of different fruits and vegetables. Tropics Real Estate Company. And here is the Fifth Avenue Coffee Company and Sixth Street Diner. Looks like a pretty extensive menu. They're open every day. Luxury swings. What did you think? Do you know the story behind those at all? Uh, the beach chairs? Uh, no. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Um, I saw you looking at it. Yeah. 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 Those classic Art Deco lifeguard stations. Get two more, you have any in the jets.
another Italian restaurant. Actually two, here's Lo Olivo and then Roma Italian Bistro. Hey, I think we're on to something here. Naples might have great Italian food. One right next to the other. And here's Roma, right next door, established in 2020, so still relatively new, three years in business. Certainly smells great too. Thank you. Talented accordion player. This is the Naples Players Sugden Community Theater. Beautiful Christmas tree in front here with the toy soldiers.
Here's an island grill. Hobnob kitchen and bar. You can buy anything you want for yourself. There's a local jeweler, the Provident Jewelry. Hey, there's Key West, Duval Street and the Hemingway House and Mallory Square, a place I've been to several times. You can check out my previous videos. Maples Pier. Great paintings from a local artist. Different ceramics available. I love this old clock. Wonder how long it's been here. So some history here. Currently this is a Bank of America building. Actually this building is more than just the Bank of America. I think it even includes Starbucks down there and some other businesses on the top floor. But this used to be the Bank of Naples building. Cafe Milano. Such a nice day today that people want to sit outside. Here's Cafe Milano's interior. Check out their menu. Mm. 
As you can see, they specialize in their desserts. But they also have pasta options available, meat, signature dishes. The Real Estate History Museum. It's a really interesting ice cream store. Love all the red inside. This over here is a seafood restaurant, the Aqua Seafood. Here's La Trattoria Pizzeria in Barreria. And a restaurant that I ate at when I first came to Naples, the Sushi Thai Downtown Restaurant. This restaurant is very large. I think there's like three or four rooms within this restaurant. And I had an excellent fish teriyaki lunch. You'll be able to see it on Action Kid Extra, my second channel. And we've reached the end of the Fifth Avenue commercial districts. the heart of Naples, beaches, shopping, and dining. But I'm not done with this video yet. We're going to be walking to another part of Naples now that's a little bit off the main strip. It's called the Shops at Dockside.
Miami is 110 miles away from here, all the way on the east coast of Florida. Hopefully I can cross the street soon. right here cut right through this parking lot. I want to walk you over to an area called Tin City first. It's a cool little spot with a waterfront view and access to the water. The shops at Dockside is over to my right. I'll be headed there after I show you the Tin City. You might have gotten a glimpse of it already when I passed by that artist who made uh, different paintings of places in Florida. I saw Tin City was one of them. I don't really know the history to why it's called Tin City. I would think that there was a uh, metal plant here. Yeah, well, when we were younger, my dad was the way of the factory oh, no. like, in China. Uh, I used to, now that Marianne's pregnant, I'm starting not to. Um, we have a, one of our clients. I think I know why it's called Tin City now. It does look like there's a lot of structures under tin. And if we don't know, we can read the historical plaque that's conveniently in front of Tin City. Very nice.
Okay, so it was to service fishermen and fishing fleets. It's kind of neat actually. Reminds me faintly of uh, like a Las Vegas kind of theme, but with no gambling. Definitely a cool spot of the city. Riverwalk restaurant. Tin City Building 2. Riverwalk Restaurants. Yeah. Wow. Kelly's Fish House Dining Room across the river. This restaurant seems a little bit busy right now. The view certainly helps. Open seven days, the River Walk Restaurant. And here's their menu. Now I'll walk you over to the shops at Dockside, which is another uh, place where there's a lot of stores. I really like how Tin City reused all its old buildings and structures to make it feel kind of like a rustic look. And it totally works.
Here's Tin City again. So here is the entrance to the shops at Dockside. Sandra's famous key lime pie I visited before and I hope to see Sandra again before they close up today. Sounds like the Sea Monkey Tavern and Grill is very lively right now. Here it is. Very popular local spot. Sandra's um, famous key lime pie is right here. Sandra's seat, uh, sweet and savory. I had a smoothie from here too. It was delicious. But I'll be wrapping up my video of Naples, Florida today. For my first time in Naples, I'm very impressed with the city and how quickly it recovered from Hurricane Ian. It's nice to see everybody out enjoying their day and it was a wonderful community. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!